the ravishing Russian. This blonde beauty is multi-talented. Dancer, actress, singer, model, wrestler, WWE superstar, total diva star, Lana. Thank you so much. What is a Florida State cowgirl, Lana? A Florida State cowgirl is a girl that puts on her Florida State and puts on a cowboy hat and cowboy boots and goes to the football games or the baseball games, but most definitely the football games, and cheers for Florida State. Who, form, who formed it, and uh, is there a call girl reunion? Well, I mean, I guess if we're, um, we're going to be really modestly speaking, the Jen Sterner, and um, I guess I was one of her main... Um, you know, me girls. I was her favorite, let's just say that. I was her project. When I met her, I didn't even know how to straight flat iron my hair or put makeup on or eyelashes. And she, I was like a little a little 19 year old and she took me under her wing and put a, put a hat on me, a cowboy hat, and cut my shirt and put a sparkling bra on me. And we sat in the front row and cheered for the football team. And I had the best tailgating experience of my life with her. <laughs> Still talking about a reunion. I'm like, I want to go back. Like, I don't want to go back with anyone else but her. And just go tailgating and dress up. It's so much fun. That's why I love college football. I actually love any sport that involves tailgating. Any sport that involves me getting dressed up and, you know, tailgating. That's all I want to say. <laughs> it's such a great time. I love, I, I, it's such a great time. You were born in Gainesville, Florida, but what made you become a Seminole instead of a Gator? Mm, that's the million dollar question. Well, after I was born in Gainesville, I lived in Russia for 13 years and went on a couple other journeys, but I, I went to Florida State because they have an incredible dance program, but you still get the college book experience. So I got to go to one of the best um, dance programs in the nation, but I still got the tailgate. <laughs> Lana, were you in the movie American Hustle? I was not. You were not in the movie? Okay. All right. So, but you are in the cast of WWE Total Divas on E! which premieres season 7 on Wednesday, November 1st at 9 p.m. What's it like being a part of Total Divas? I love it. I love every second of it. I love, um, I love and hate some of my cast members, but I think that's what a family is. Is like, you know, you love your siblings. I, I always refer to the people that I work with, the women, the superstars. Is it's like a family. I I love my siblings, but sometimes they just drive me crazy, and I fight with them, and then we make up, and we have some ice cream, and give each other high fives, and then fight again, and then make up again, and that's kind of how it is in the women's locker room and is on Total Divas. I, some of the girls, um, Natty in particular, I really, you know, she's, I get in, I get in some huge fights with her and you're going to see that this season. Um, but she's like my sister. I'm like really close with her. And so I guess we're very, we're very yin and yang. We're very opposite. You know, she's like, Natty has like little stick up her butt and I'm just like, Let's go tailgating and drink and have a good time. And then let's wrestle. Let's dream. And she just can't take all my, I, I don't know, she just can't take me. I, I feel like I'm a load of fun. Um, but you're going to see a lot of me and her not, you know, working our, working our relationship out. And you're going to see the first money in the bank ever. Women's ladder match, which is just, so excited. I'm so excited that it's on the show. Um, the show, how women are breaking barriers. You know, we're constantly, we're fighting for our opportunities, but also it's like one of the most exciting times in WWE that we get, we get all these chances that we can break the glass ceiling. And I'm just really thankful that I'm a part of an incredible cast of women that, you know, we're, we're trying our best to break glass ceilings in all different areas of life, but especially in that um, right? In WWE. You're going to see my first ever title match. You're actually going to see my first ever singles match. And my first ever singles match on a pay-per-view. And it's a title. So you're going to see my journey, which has a lot of crazy ups and downs as well. And I'm, 
I'm nervous, but I'm also really excited to share my journey. That's interesting you mentioned because <gasps> it really is interesting you mentioned that because women in wrestling has really taken a step up, a few steps up. How do you think Lana Total Divas, Total Divas on E, has helped in that regard in women breaking out in wrestling? Oh, yes. I think Total Divas has a huge, huge, huge part. I think, actually, Total Divas is kind of what helped catapult it. Originally, when um, the, the, the hashtag Give Divas a Chance started on Twitter, and I think it's just because Total Divas is a completely different audience with E, and a lot of women watch it. A lot of my mom's friends watch it that never used to watch wrestling. A lot of my sister's friends that never wa- used to watch wrestling watch it, and so then they become interested in SmackDown and Raw because they're so interested in our lives and what we do, so then they cro- cross over and become a fan. So that's what's so exciting. I think that's what we ultimately as women want to do is that we want to break into different areas of entertainment. If it's reality TV on E, if it's fashion, if it's you know makeup, if it's um, you know 